what's happening here, it's very rare to simultaneously experiment with these different technologies on complete opposite sides of the moon. Now, this mission, yes, it's unmanned, it's uncrewed, but it's really thinking about the future. It's getting us one step closer to having this lasting or lifelong presence, really, on the moon and even potentially paving a way to Mars. Now, let's talk about this mission specifically for this one. NASA's partnering with two private companies here. The first lander, it touches down on the moon. And uh, coming up, I want to say around March 2nd, now, it's packed with tech to test drilling, soil collection, and how well space navigation systems can handle radiation. The second is landing near the moon's south pole. Now, scientists think the area may have water and gases trapped in the soil. Now, this could be a game changer, really, when we're thinking about resources for future astronauts as NASA's works to build a long-term base there. This is really exciting. We're able to go and test technologies that we need to refine and learn from as we move towards uh, longer duration uh, humans uh, exploration on the lunar surface. Um, and we're also going to be doing some science investigations to understand more about the, the moon itself, how it formed, what its structure is, um, learn about the radiation environment um, and the presence of volatiles, things like water that we might need um, as we move towards the Artemis campaign when we're going to send humans to the South Polar region. The, the future is uh, the beginning of these commercial missions leading up to humans on the moon. Yeah, and by working with these private companies, it's really interesting because this is such a cost-cutting mechanism as we're seeing more of the private sector get their foot in the door when it comes to space exploration. This means more missions in the future, more tech, and even a better chance of life and human life really living and working potentially beyond Earth. In Houston, Texas, Sarah Gray, Fox 32 Chicago.